guess what I did? Good guess. I picked a book to read and it's not this one. I will say I read two pages of it and I actually liked it, but all throughout the night, my energy kept being drawn towards something that I typically don't read. Can you guess? The part said we'll pull it over right there. Fantasy. I am going to read A Court of Thorns and Roses. And so far, it's good. I've read one, par one paragraph. I've read um, one chapter while I was at the doctor's this morning. And I actually like it. Like, I can't wait to keep reading. So, that's always a great sign, right? Let me tell you why I have not read a fantasy novel. And it's mostly embedded in the fact that I've convinced myself that fantasy novels use these really large made up words and I just don't feel like trying to retain words that aren't real but that's not the case so now I feel like stupid because I probably missed out on a lot of like Harry Potter I never got into Harry Potter that's the fantasy novel right I think it is anyway I've never gotten into Harry Potter because I was like Hogwarts I don't know just always thought that it was like some really large words but I really like it so far um, and I'm not going to give away anything. Again, I've only read one chapter. So far, it's clearly about a moment in time where people are still hunters and having to hunt to get food. It's the dead of winter, and most of the animals have either been killed or are hibernating so well that humans who have, don't have enough food are going to starve, which is clearly a lot of people in the village. Anyway, I think her name's Fire. Fire has found a deer and in the midst of getting ready to kill the deer with her bow and arrow struts up a wolf and she doesn't know if the wolf is a real wolf or a fairy wolf catch me if i'm saying fairies wrong either way she's like i'm gonna have to kill it as long as as long as he is by himself i'm gonna have to kill it and so this part just shows her um discusses her using like this fancy arrow she has to kill the wolf she actually shot him twice once with the fancy arrow one with her regular arrow and she's she cut something off the wolf to help get the deer back because the wolf is too heavy for her to take back to her village she's the youngest of she's also the youngest of three sisters and so I'm assuming it's just her responsibility to hunt. Maybe she's the best of the hunters or the best hunter in her family. So I'm really excited. But before I start reading more, it's a couple of things I need to do for my magazine. I also need to make a TikTok um, about my book choice because it was quite a few people who were giving me suggestions. And I actually, none of them suggested this book. But I rewatched somebody's video where they are giving their genuine reactions of reading the book. I'm like, oh. I think that's why I slept on it because it was the last thing I watched last night. Um, so it was the, it was just on my mind all night. Um, but more, not more importantly, but as important, my October issue, my next magazine issue should come out in October. And so what I'm starting to notice as I become more astute and aware of my population is that a lot of people don't know how to start telling their stories. So I'm just going to put on Instagram, like link a couple of Google Docs for topics that might be interest of interest to people, um, such as like single parenting, overcoming tragedy. So, so I can give them sort of a, just ask them like questions about the topics and that way they could just fill in the questions. Um, providing as much depth as possible or as little and then I can just reach back out to them for to fill in any holes but I think compiling a story for people who don't write is gonna be difficult and so I listen to a lot of people who say like I want to talk about dating and how difficult it is dating when you have kids and things like that but I don't know where to begin and so I just want to give like a template for them to utilize and I'm also gonna make it so that they can share it anonymously or they can attach their name to it. So that's my next thing to do. Um, I'm gonna have like five topics, but that's what I'm gonna try to work on tonight. I might push it to the weekend though, cause 
my next few days are crazy. My one of my daughters turns 13 tomorrow, so that's a big day, which she's real low key. I'm gonna take her to get her second ear piercing, maybe find some shoes, which would count as school shoes. Um, little shopping trip, and then my oldest daughter moves to campus at Howard University on Friday. So y'all already know I'm traumatized. That's probably why I look so sleepy because I've been losing sleep. Anyway, um, so that's uh Friday, and then Saturday, I don't really have any plans for Saturday. I got tickets to the National African American Museum. They have like a hip hop's 50th anniversary block party. So I might go to that, but then I low key don't know because somebody invited me to a concert that night and I kind of said I couldn't go because I don't know. But then you know, you Instagram everything and this person will be like, girl, you told me you couldn't go. But I'll see. But that's that. And then Sunday, we're doing a birthday celebration family celebration, whole family and friends celebration for our 13 year old. That's about that. So I might just read and just like mentally prepare myself for the next few days. So many things, so many irons on fire right now. Anyway, that's all I have for now. I am reading A Court of Thrones. No, that's not all I have because y'all know people come through. Come all the way through. So let's see what we have today and i also ordered somebody suggested a fantasy novel on tiktok and i ordered that okay this looks like um i think this counts as a fantasy novel yes a fantasy novel a cozy space fantasy novel from master world builder valerie valdez a refugee with a secret a dangerous foe and a road trip that could either save a planet or start a war. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna see how this Akatar series goes before I get excited about a, another fantasy novel. So I'll keep that posted. I hope to have some of those raw moments where I saw others like reacting to the book. But I, I also know I'm not gonna like, I say I'm not gonna cry. I definitely am not. And then I have something. Oh, I thought she wanted me. <laughs> Naomi's fine to her sister, which is great. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up for now. And then, I don't know. It's like 6 o'clock, so I guess I got to cook. This is... Did she just go to stop? Anyway, I'm going to figure out what I'm making these kids for dinner. And then, when I'll squeeze in my reading time. Y'all see what I mean about having a vlog for moms and wives with all these kids and all these things to do because like really how do we figure out how to exist and do the things we want to do when we still have to be like humans for somebody else it's cute i love it i wouldn't change the world but i just want to document it so that's all for now i'm gonna go ahead and do whatever it is i'm about to do i don't even Good morning. It is Saturday. I wish I was popping on here to say I miraculously finished reading A Court of Thorns and Roses. I haven't, but I can say I like it. I really, really like it. And I've only made it to just about, that is, I made it to just about chapter, a little past chapter three. So not much has happened, but I know I like it so much that, y'all see this big stack here? So much that I ran on Amazon and ordered, not the rest, I think I'm missing the orange one, but TikTok is the devil because everybody I see posting about any one of these books, it's like the red one was amazing. And then um, the orange one is amazing. I saw someone post a quote of wink. A Court of Wings and Ruin. And it's like, oh my God, this is the best one. So I'm like, okay, just go ahead and get all of them. Um, anyway, like I said, I haven't made substantial progress because yesterday was move-in day. And while my child is only going down the street to Howard, it feels like so far away. So I'm really like roaming around the house looking like a little sad puppy. And you would think I haven't done this 
this is my second time doing this. You would think I hadn't done it before, but I, I feel like boys are different. Boys, it's kind of like, <laughs> you know they're going to come back home. Like, they they can't, they <laughs> can't function for too long without, like, needing to come back home. So, I don't know. It's, it's definitely, for me anyway, my first is a boy, and I cried on the way home. But I feel like... My daughter who went to school, who I dropped off yesterday, was my support system four years ago. She was 14 and she was my support system four years ago when I dropped him off. So it was like, okay, I'm, I have one going off to college, but, and I still have four more, but she was like, okay, what are we going to do? Are we going to shop and all these great things? So now it's like, who's my support system now that she's gone so i'm trying to today have restraint and not harass her um i know yesterday was tough for both of us dad is indifferent he's like this is how life goes cool the kids are all like she's close but for me and her because every experience for her is new and for me every experience without her is new if that makes sense i don't know it's hard to figure out but hopefully today is a better day for both of us um i'm gonna try to lay off of running one don't go i'm gonna try to lay off of like texting and calling her every five minutes but she's an introvert like me and she isn't gonna feel comfortable going into any setting unless she has someone with her who makes her feel comfortable and so um her roommate is actually coming today so yesterday she didn't go to the cafeteria at all and her roommate hasn't arrived just yet so she hasn't gone to the cafeteria um so far today and it's almost 11 o'clock but she's like i'm getting ready to go to starbucks so it's like killing me not to text her. Be like, I can meet you there. But I'm I'm gonna relax. I'll see her tomorrow. She has a um she has a pinning ceremony. I guess it's like the official welcome. Um, so mom and dad get to go to that. So that's exciting. And then that's it. I'm I'm gonna try to knock out some pages today. And one thing about her going to school is most of my outings, like, they revolve around my toddler, but um, she always wants to shop, grab something to eat. So, I feel like I'll reclaim a little bit of that time um, to get more reading done. So, here's to getting a lot of reading. I am, let's say, where am I? They haven't realized that the wolf is uh, a Day. And I also learned that I've been calling her Fire. Her name is Feyre. So that's a, it's really cute. So Feyre is the main character. And then her sisters are Nesta and Elaine. Mom passed away. Oh, y'all know I'm, not, I'm never going to like give away the book. But I really like it. It's an easy read. Like I said, I haven't had much chance to read but I am on page 24, um, which is a couple of pages into chapter three. So while I have, I actually have an empty house now because like my husband went to breakfast with his family and he took um, Naomi, who's three, and our 15 year old son's out here. And then Nala, who is like her social calendar is probably more full than mine. She went to the lake with her friends and she left at like seven this morning. So I'm home alone for now. That's not gonna last long at all. And yeah, I will check back in later. Bye. It's been a couple of days since I popped on here to talk about this book, but I'm at the climax right now and I am going to say that it is so good. I have never watched a bunch of, I've never seen so many reactions on YouTube that have been accurate, right? Like, you see people overreact when they read and you're like, it's not that good. And then when you, like, you read the book and it's really not that good, but this is that good. And the crazy thing is, like, wherever I am, I'm telling people how good this book is. And I'm like, am I the last one on earth to realize or even to start the book? Because... 
They looking at me like, oh, I binge read that series last year. I'm like, it's been out that long? I had no idea. This book is so good. It's so good. I am, I'm actually more than halfway done. Like I have about, I'm on, I'm actually past the climax actually. Um, I don't even know how, where to begin in sharing like certain aspects of the book because I don't want to give anything away. I'm going to say that um, I like the perspective that, and I hope one day I learn, like if I'm saying fairies wrong, because I feel like it's fae, like, I don't know, whatever. But I like the aspect of how um, Feyre came from, well, first of all, she got to experience life with money and then what life was like without money and um i just found it interesting that when the book starts it's about how hungry she is how frail she is because of it's winter time and it's not a lot of food but when she's in prithian i hope i'm saying that right when she's in prithian she has like everything in abundance the only thing that's missing is her family but it like baffles me how quick she goes from like she wants to maintain the the last wish of her mom in terms of making sure her family was taken care of but i was a little baffled as to how quick she went from like i'm gonna miss my family to enjoying the um the labor or lack of labor um of prithian i hope that makes sense but it's just so good and it's like when she realized that she couldn't just go back to her family and she had to actually not not even settle I have a visitor in here can you see that um not necessarily settle but just adapt that's the word I'm looking for she had to adapt to the law of the land of Prithian but she's still nosy as hell like and I'm at the point in the book I'm on page 297 and She's looking for someone in the in a cave. I'll say that because that's not giving away anything. Um, she's just so nosy. She's so nosy. And in the moments where she can, she seems to be so outspoken. And then the moments when she should have been outspoken, where she could have like ended the whole thing. She's just like, was I dreaming? No, girl, you heard, you heard. You just didn't respond and then it was too late like it was too late so i'm gonna go ahead and how many pages do i have left a little over 100 pages and yesterday i read 80 pages i'm definitely not reading 80 pages tonight it's after 10 o'clock and Y'all know I'm back to work. Did I come on here and say I'm back to work? I don't think so. I think the last video I uploaded was over a week ago or about a week ago. But my summer vacation is over. Teachers are back to work this week. The kids come back next week. So I'm doing what I could do as I could do it. Um, I will say my OK Player article is live today. So I'm so excited. So excited. Um, that was... it. Was, can't, I want to say it was hard work. It really wasn't hard work because I I know that I know Black history well enough to like throw something out there. Um, but it was interesting to see how like it was my first paid freelance. I won't say first paid, first big paid freelance um, writing assignment. So it, it was cool. And then the fact that I created the pitch. And I wrote something based on what I, like, my own idea was like, dang, like, I really could do it. I'm doing it. I am doing it. So, that was exciting. Outside of that, um, yeah, I'm going to finish this. I'm going to give myself, I'm not going to put a time frame. Because then if I give myself a time frame and I don't meet the time frame, then I'm going to be upset. But I'm definitely going to have it finished by the time I go back to work Monday. So, I'll finish this by Sunday. Hopefully well before because I want to start the next one. Like I really see what everybody's talking about. I ain't cry yet with this one. I feel like, no, when I recall, well, that girl on YouTube, I forget her name, starts with an M. She cried and it was closer to the end. So I feel like it's like, 
it's like good from beginning to end. If y'all didn't, if you didn't um, read this book, please read it. If you are not a fantasy person, I thought I wasn't a fantasy person until I read this, and now I want to devour the other four books. And then I hear she has another series, like crazy. Like I'm in the cult. I feel like Hogwarts, Harry Potter. I'm in the cult now. Sarah J. Maas. Hey, okay. I'll see y'all soon. All right, y'all. So I just want to know if I'm the only person like this, right? You're reading a really good book. You start getting to the end and you know the end is going to be better than anything you have already read in the book. Like once you reach the climax of a book, you know who's slamming the door. Anyway, once you reach the climax of a book, like if it's a good climax, it's going to make you so eager to get to the end. But everything that gets everything that builds up to the towards the end of the book you just know it's going to be that good right i can't like it's just baffling me how interested and intrigued i am by a fantasy novel of all my years of reading avidly almost every genre except fantasy it's baffling me how good it is like if i have my way and i might have my way tonight it, this is this is a take one for the team book like when i read lump a couple of weeks ago i remember saying like i don't think i'm gonna i can't afford to stay up late because i have a toddler to deal with but this book is one of them books where it's like i'm just gonna have to operate on fumes tomorrow because I want to finish this book and I immediately, maybe not immediately, depending on the end, I immediately want to start part two. Like, I just want to keep it going. Like, the, I, I'm thankful that this is a series because I know that once I finish this book, there's another book and another and another and another. Now, when I get to that fifth book, she, I hope she got a movie out or something. And now, the other thing I want to do is stroll myself over to TikTok because I hear on TikTok everybody is like casting um, roles for the movie. If it's a real movie, I don't know. But um, and who who's the big guy who they said? Someone suggested that, um, oh my God, what is his name? I'm probably not going to remember his name because that's the way my brain works. Lisa Bonet's husband, whatever his name is, they suggested him as Tamlin. I don't think he would be a good Tamlin. I think he would be a good Lucian because he, like, I don't want him to be, like, the love interest. Although he could. He could because he's, like, really big and, like, gives lion vibes. Like, I could see the claws popping out, but... I think it would be Luchin. So who do I want? Who do I think? The Rock? I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't watch it if The Rock was in it. I would watch it if Lisa Bonet's husband was in it. But anyway, I need to finish this book. But I'm at... And I didn't even get to read a lot yesterday. Because like I said, back to work. So yesterday was my first... No. I had a full day on Monday... And then yesterday. So I didn't get a lot of reading done yesterday. I think I read like 30, not even 30 pages, maybe 15 pages, which is on the very low end. Um, because we started watching some movie. It was good. I don't even know what it's called. The dad had a traumatic brain injury and his daughter was like taking care of him. But she was a kid herself. So anyway, I'm getting off track here. But um, yeah, I don't even remember. I feel like I'm gonna say cut and start over, but I'm gonna keep going. Anyway, um, yeah, casting. I don't know. I need to finish reading. That's what I was saying. I need to finish reading this book like ASAP. But I'm really trying to um build my cast for my fictional movie of Akatar series one. Like, who would play Favor? Like, what's a good actress for Favor? I feel like 
She has, she has to be a white actress, actress, young. I don't know any young white actresses. Like, um, oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't know any. Cause everything that I, everyone that I'm thinking of was young way back when. Um, like Dakota Fanning, <laughs> but she's not young anymore. I don't even know what she looks like now. But she kind of gives me like favor vibes. Um, Zoe Kravitz, while I'm talking about her stepdaddy, she could be. No, no. Favor just strikes me as so like frail, but tomboyish. I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about it. But anyway, um, I'm at the part of the book where. Without giving it away, I'm at the part of the book where um, Favorite is trying to rescue some people and they beat her ass. Like, I'm sorry, I don't want to cuss. I don't want to. But they really, they beat her. Broke her, I did they break her? No, broke her nose. I'm like, God damn. And then what I didn't, what I thought was like, I guess it could be cool or like, I don't know. Luchin, when he used his magic on her and he was like, I'm going to heal you, but I don't want to heal you to the point where they know that my magic is still working. Man, just imagine if, like, imagine if this, like, kind of world existed where there's like two worlds colliding and then one world has magic and it can like, poof. Like, boom, you could hit, some, hit somebody in the head of the book and then all the information from the book is in it. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and close this vlog out. No, I'm not going to close it out. I'm going to go ahead and read. And, yeah, I really want to hurry up and read because I'm interested to see, like, is it a happy ending? And I feel like... Again, I've been watching people cry and react so much to this book that I feel like the end is going to be, like, sad. So, I got high hopes, but I also know I need to let some of those high hopes go because my feelings are going to be hurt. I'm not going to cry or nothing, but I know my feelings are going to be hurt. So, I'll be back. left to go and I just reached the part of the book where I'm like what like I mean I reached that part a lot and a lot of times in this book but Farrah had Favra had these y'all know if you read it you know what I'm saying she had these things to do and then she reached this part where it was like you you're almost at the finish line you just gotta finish but to cross the finish line you damned if you do, damned if you don't. And she didn't done all those things to get to where she is now. And now what? Now what? I have 30 pages left to go. I am going to finish the book tonight. I am going to wrap up this um, video and hopefully have it up and ready tomorrow because I just need y'all to be in this pain with me 
My my jaw dropped. <laughs> like I'm I'm low key speechless, and I'm just amazed at how invested I am in this book. Like I'm really invested to the point where I had to, like I just get why everybody was crying, and I just kept thinking I I'm not I did I intentionally did not film myself reading because I don't. I don't want to give away anything. Not like I could give it away unless I literally say it. But, I mean, what I thought would happen based on people's reactions, kind of, it's kind of happening, but kind of not really. And with 30 pages left to go, I still don't know. But I just know she, damn, you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. And that's where Favor is right now in this book. Like, girl, what are you about to do? Let me go finish. I'm gonna be back because I have a few more things to do. I have to take a kid to basketball practice. I need to get my three-year-old some playtime because I'm back to work and she was home with dad all day. But I'm finishing the book. I am just like, y'all gotta read this book. If you If you read the book, please dialogue with me in the comment section if you have not read the book pause on it like save this video until after you read it or as you read it and yeah then you need to comment because it's so damn good it's so good i am good i'll be back i just need to take the moment to say thank you to everyone who suggested this book whether you are on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, the moon, Mars, everybody who has read this book understands what I'm saying. There is no particular point in this book in which you can predict. You can always predict. Let me not say that. But whether your prediction is correct or not is another story. There was not one thing in this book that I predicted um, that actually happened. And even, even when I base my opinion on the reactions that I saw people having, it's not what I thought. The end of the book, the last 30 pages, well, it's one part where people were like bawling, crying their eyes out. I think I know what part it was um, because nobody wants to give the book away. I think I know the part it was and that's what I read. Um, that was the last clip of this video was me talking about how the last 30 pages are going to be crazy because what I expected to happen at the end of the book did not happen. And I'm, I am, I pride myself on being a good predictor when it comes to books. Like we all know if you're on YouTube and you are an avid reader, you start to feel like the best books, the books that we rate for 4.55 are usually the books that we cannot predict. Like we had no idea what was going to happen, no matter how many times we thought about it, how many times in our head we envisioned what the next step would be. And this was that book. And I'm really like, I'm, I'm so over the moon because I enjoyed like my previous book. I think before this was Lump. I enjoyed that book. And when I finished it, I was like, I haven't read a book this good in so long. This trumps that book. This book is easily, and I'm, I feel like I'm being selfish because it's a fantasy novel. And just because it's a fantasy novel, I docked it five tenths of a point. So I... I give it a 4.5 and the only thing that's stopping it from being a five is that I felt like either some parts took a really long time to like come together or it came together so fast. I was like, wait, like, let me process this part before we jump to this part. But that's the only thing. Um, writing style all of those things were so amazing to me and just the 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 mind that sarah j has to have to create such an amazing well thought out well structured book 
And again, from what I have seen, the other four books are supposed to be better. And I'm like, how can you get, I mean, better, I guess would be a five, but it's just amazing to me. So again, I give it a 4.5. If you have read the book, please jump in the comments because I don't know anyone personally who has read the book. I don't know anyone personally who reads as much as I read, which is why I have this channel for the for the 40 plus people like me who have families and all these things to do, but still make it a priority to read. I mean, it's for everybody, but y'all get my point. Um, I don't know people who avidly read. So if you read this book, please jump in the comments. Let's have a uh, dialogue about it because I have some questions. And if you have read this book and maybe you have already read the second book in the series, which is, I have it right here because I'm about to read this one next, um, a, a Court of Mist and Fury. If you read this one, like jump in the comments too. Tell me what you think. Like, is it? Is it going to be better than the first one? I don't know. I'm reading it regardless. So I'm just curious to know what it's about because I think it's the orange one. It's the orange one. It's the red. No. It's red. Purplish one. Um, I saw videos on those. And those are supposed to be better than the first one. So I'm really excited to start this one. And this one is, uh, let's see. Let's see. I'm just trying to see how many pages 626 pages and this one was 416 pages so noticeably a much thicker book so i'm excited to read this one um yeah i'm really excited jump in the comments um as usual if and i i have more subscribers now i can't remember i think my last video i was at for three i have nine and i'm so excited and i would just greatly appreciate if you like the content here you continue to let me know um and definitely if you have not already subscribed subscribe comment i'll return to love if you come in the comments and tell me because i'm always looking for new um people to follow on youtube who are involved in reading and writing so if that's you also leave a comment so i can follow you back and in the meantime, I look forward to seeing you all soon. I don't have a set schedule about when I'm posting and all that stuff because, you know, life is life and the cat just walked in. Um, life is life and, yeah, I'm doing the best that I can with what I got. But I will it, I will um, never not post more than two weeks. Does that make sense? It might not make sense. I will have at least one post every two weeks, but I prefer to do more, hopefully, like, two to three. We'll see how life goes. But... You all have a great day. Peace.